My name is Valentino Capobianco, and I am running for state representative. Just as I work to deliver results for families in Winthrop on its school committee, I will fight hard for you at the State House. Working to make sure our communities thrive and our residents' voices are heard is my life's work. I am running for office to deliver results for Winthrop and Revere on the issues that matter most. We need to protect small businesses and our workers to combat this COVID-19 pandemic. We need to ensure that every child has access to a world-class education. And we must guarantee that everybody in Massachusetts has access to quality and affordable health care and a clean environment to live in. I will fight to give people the opportunity to achieve the American dream. I learned about what it means to make the most of opportunities because that's the story of my family. My grandfather, Ralph Capobianco, Nani as most of us knew him, passed away two years ago at 102 years old. His first job was shining shoes at five years old in Scully Square in downtown Boston. He did not have the opportunity to attend school. He was married young, had an apartment in the Maverick Square projects, and he served his country in World War II. And when he came home, he opened a small business and bought a home on Falcon Street in the Eagle Hill section of Boston. He retired at the age of 85 years old as a custodian on the Boston Public Schools. These communities in the 19th Suffolk District deserves to pursue and achieve the American dream. The priorities of your next state representative have to be laser focused on how we create opportunities for the people in our district. As state representative, I'll work to fully implement the Student Opportunities Act so that Winthrop and Revere res both receive an additional $12.5 million in public school funding. And as the only elected official in this campaign that has served during this pandemic, experience matters. I know what it's like to receive the call from a teacher who is concerned about the, her, their health for the return of in-person learning. I know what it's like to receive the call from a parent who's worried about their child's social and emotional health because just last year they may have been a straight-A student and or a three-sport athlete. And as a member of the Shore Collaborative Board of Trustees, I know what it's like to lose two students and a teacher to this virus. But I agree with President Biden that the full reopening of schools has to happen within the next 100 days in a safe, clean environment. I will work to protect our workers by helping to issue hazards pay for all frontline workers, working to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour, and reinstating time and a half on Sundays for our retail workers. Experience matters. As Senator Feeney's chief of staff during this pandemic, I helped help negotiate hundreds of unemployment claims to make sure that our families in his district had the opportunity to keep moving forward during this pandemic. And I'm so honored to receive the endorsement of seven labor unions from IBEW 2222 to get to our Iron Workers Local 7 in the Shore Collaborative Board, board um, Teachers Union. As a state representative, I will, I will fight for criminal justice reform and tackle the opioid crisis as, as an illness, an addiction, not as a crime. And I will fight for our seniors by advocating for additional funding for our PACE program. Right now, Massachusetts is 37 out of 50 states when it comes to vaccine distribution, and that is unacceptable. As a state representative, I will advocate for one-stop online signups for all sites. I'll help create a plan with distributors to increase vaccination rates and bring it to our most vulnerable communities. As a member of the Winthrop Airport Hazards Committee, over the last four years, I worked with Jerry Falbo, Richard Bangs, and Gina Cassetta to hold Massport accountable. While I understand Massport's economic viability to this district, however, we worked with Congresswoman Clark's office to fight for additional mitigation funding for soundproofing right in Point Shirley, right here in Winthrop. And as a state representative, I'll work to make sure that Congress releases those funds. My pledge to you is I will be an open, honest and accessible state representative, just as I was as a legislative aide, chief of staff, and school committee member. The next state representative has big shoes to fill, but working as Speaker DeLeo's legislative aide, I learned the education of a lifetime on how the importance of, of the work that is done at the State House affects our community. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit my website at www.tino4rep.com or call me personally on my cell phone. It's 617-874-7169. My name is Valentino Capobianco. I want to be your state representative. 
and I am humbly asking for your vote on Tuesday, March 2nd. Thank you.